Scorpio, how you doing? So we're here to do your June, but don't forget uh, that the timeline, I'm, I go off very much timeline specific stuff. So this kind of thing, because we are only now on the 18th is when I'm doing this of May, that the timeline could be stuff that's really kind of happening around now, okay? Uh, and then we have to look into the actual future itself at the end. But um, yeah, how you getting on through the uh, eclipse of Scorpio, right? <laughs> very difficult for me being a rising so I don't know about you guys uh, but yeah very much pressure and I've actually got a headache today and I don't think it's anything other than just the pressure or being a life path seven but uh, yeah I feel a lot of like like having to breathe through it and stuff so uh, you could be dealing with a Libra someone that's being indecisive maybe I don't know uh, let's see anyway Scorpio so we're not channeling because of retrograde and I just can't uh, communication with me at the moment is whack, right? <laughs> so it might be because uh, everybody at the moment through has been a running theme. So you could be dealing with Life Path Seven or a Cancerian. I said this in the last reading of Libra. Um, you know, you could be dealing with a lot of this uh, non-communicative type sort of a retrograde. Can't think, can't speak, can't talk. What can I do? <laughs> you could be listening to Adam and the Ants, or you could be dealing with an Adam and Eve, Steve, Evie, Steve, Devi. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm also hearing uh, Adam and Eve, which would be a Gemini or slash Capricorn of a six. Okay, you could be, or you could have it in your chart. Um, I'm also hearing the name Brian or B. Well, B. Wells, B. Wells. Some of you might be doing something around a book or thinking about writing a book or you're always reading books or audible type sort of stuff here. Uh, journalism and all that sort of stuff or jeers. Uh, I don't know. Buck's Fizz. I'm also hearing Buck's Fizz for some reason. Buck's Fizz is a drink and also a band. So unless you're in a band and you do music like I do for Angel Radio, Okay, but you you know do rapping, singing, music, interested in all that kind of stuff, or being in a band, or just a one man band, or even a gastric band. <laughs> Who knows? T Rex, Tatiana, name Tatiana. Life's a gas. Life's a gas. <laughs> some are fat and some are thin. Some will even ask you where you've been. No, 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 no. Yeah, so you might be uh, looking at diet like myself and trying to get rid of your bitch tits and God knows what else. Um, yeah, so um, life's a gas. Yeah, so I don't know, looking at your weight consumption and you might have an eating disorder like me and trying your best to, to lose weight. Okay, uh, let's see. Anyway, so um, uh, Scorpio. What's Scorpio got coming up for June 2022? Last guess. Uh, Scorpio. Uh, so the Wheel of Fortune, trying to ride it out. <laughs> ride in the night. I'm trying to ride it out. Okay. I realised that I might just go out for a drive somewhere. And I might literally just go out for a drive. This was in the teaching segment when I was saying the build up of karma of looking this as a cycle or a roundabout that you come on. The leading card needs to have confidence to ride the wheel of fortune, to be ready, to not be fearful. If not, you get a build up of karma. If I say not, you might be dealing with a Pisces swinging on a tree. Okay, so it also comes down to luck that favours the fortunate. Okay, or whichever way you say that, like Braveheart. Okay, but like the brave, like I'm brave enough to want it, are you? Okay, I'm brave enough to go now, if you are. Okay, I'm here now, where are you? <laughs> you know, those kind of things. So let's see, Scorpio, or Scorpio got coming up for June? Uh, so waiting, waiting on a karmic return or waiting on the return of the sender. You may have sent something out and you'll return, you're waiting... Uh, for a turn on your investment, so um, you may have sent out a CV, is also what I'm hearing, or Stevie, or Steve, and I've sent something out and I'm waiting on my return for that, okay? I'm also hearing the name Stern as well. Um, but like, uh, yeah, I'm waiting patiently. Lee, Laura, Lucy, Lucifer, that would be a Capricorn energy there more than likely for me. So anybody beginning with L, even L Zabub. Okay, so there could be a lot of money involved here. 
But see Scorpio, Scorpio, or it could be mating, mating, <laughs> mating someone wait. <laughs> I'm making you wait to mate. <laughs> okay. So someone's mating, mating, dating. So you're, you're actually dating someone or you're copulating in somehow. Okay. Uh, let's see. Scorpio. Uh, I'm waiting. I'm making you wait on a decision of whether I'm coming or going. I don't know whether you're coming or you're going at the moment. You're not really making too much sense. I'm waiting for you. Are you coming with me? Because I'm going towards destiny. So if you are my destiny, and if you are my destiny, then we're supposed to be together. So are you coming? Are you coming along with me? Or are you... you know, because it's definitely heading towards an eight. Because that's why it is an eight. Let's see. Scorpio. Four... Can we deal with another four? Scorpio or Aries. Um, if you don't know that, you have to be on the teaching segment because I read in code. Okay. On the top of an Aries says a four. On the stop, top of Scorpio says a four. Okay. Um, Scorpio for June. So you got five uh, Aries. Um, uh, sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, temperance, uh, metaphysical connection, tit for tat, Tatiana, uh, Sagittarius. Um, I don't know. Someone's just like you're in the metaphysical time warp here. Time warp. Time warp. T -t 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 time warp. <laughs> uh, let's see. Scorpio. Scorpio. For June. Draining. Tired. Frustration. Fed up. <laughs> Can't figure out what's what. More metaphysical, no physical. Metaphysical connection, no action have to have action if you don't you just stay in the land of la la okay so it's draining tired because people are fighting the energy of physical connection to stay in metaphysics so no actual six of cups energy as yet <clears throat> which is tiring and draining because you're fighting each other's energy which means giving it and not receiving it and taking it and understanding what empathy really is so feeling very tired yawning quite a lot Jaundice, maybe, or Jordan Gill, <coughs> fighting <coughs> a boxer, um, or uh, a Gill, which would mean Piscean, because that would be a uh, Gill, <laughs> um, or Bill, Gill, Billy, uh, let's see, not a lot of action here at all, Sc uh, Scorpio, so like I said, the more you stay in this energy, the more draining it's going to be because there's no physical action at all. Okay. For or against, there's just no action. Uh, let's see. So you're not going to manifest anything. Just probably arguments of frustration and being tired and bored, fed up. Um, let's see. Scorpio for June. But this could definitely be now. Yeah, Ten of Wands, just more frustration. I'm not seeing any signs of clear communication, or the name Claire. I'm not really seeing any signs of clear communication. A lot of metaphysical waiting around, a lot of wandering about, going out, frustrated. I need to get out of the house. I'm just fed up with waiting around. You know, you're keeping me waiting on you, and I am, but what's the matter with you? What's the matter you... Hey, what are you gonna do? Ah, shut up your face. Why don't you just shut up? <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> so again, no, no speaking, no talking on Norton. Um, but again, uh, yeah, no uh, Graham Norton, Graham. Uh, but again, no, um, no speaking, no talking. More metaphysics, more draining, more tired. Ego very much kicked in. Definitely hard work to compare with your partner. Um, this could be a bipolar disorder. Law and Order, Laura, Lucy, Louise, Lucifer, anybody beginning with L, 
I'm kind of picking up through here. Um, treading lightly, because I, that's why I started picking up the name L. Treading lightly, the name Lee, Laura, Lucy, L, anybody L. But I'm hearing treading on light ground. <coughs> so I'm tiptoeing around the two lips. Tim, Timothy. And I'm tiptoeing or t talking to someone called Tim. Uh, Timbuk2. Could be dealing with a life path 2 or a 2 somewhere. Uh, mm. Retrograde, very boring, very motionless, no action, loads of no speaking, which everybody's going through at the moment, a load of waiting around, nothing really happening, the other person feeling like they're at fault, you feeling you're at fault, the other person's blaming you, no talking, no clear communication, digging someone's heels in and not speaking to them, putting them in time out for some sort of childish behaviour maybe. Okay, which is adults, because children act more responsible than adults, right? So, because children don't care. So there's this energy of someone making out that they don't care. Um, which is more of a whatever type sort of thing. Trevor, uh, let's see. Um, Scorpio for June. Heading towards destiny, got two eights. So there's this hopeful energy of something coming of it, but we don't really know because there's no there's no clear signs of anything really happening at the moment. It's like slow down motion. It's just slow your horses, slow go back to nothing, and then we'll get destiny at some point. We'll get to it at some point because it's still meant to be. You're heading to what you're you're going in the right direction, whichever way it is, but. I don't. I think you're just kind of fighting each other's ego at the moment, and I think that you're still looking forward, or one of you is looking forward towards the future, meaning of the connection itself. But as the connection stands, it's more non-existent. Okay, so it's kind of like mm, uh, now and again type sort of feeling. You know, it depends if these are clarified by speaking. But at the moment, I'm not, even this is a non-speaking active energy. It's still not moving anywhere. It's still not going. It's standing still. So it's kind of like time is frozen at the moment. Cockfrost. Like it's frozen at the moment. So let it be. <laughs> let it go. Let it go. Let it go. So again, but someone won't. They won't drop the energy. Because it's making... It, it, it feels like I've been made to do this. And it's like, I'm not going to give in if you're not going to give in. And if you're not giving in, then neither am I. And I'm not and you're not. So where are we going? Not nowhere, really. We're not really split up, but we are still looking forward to the future, right? But what are we doing at the moment? Not really talking about it. That's all I've really got for you, Scorpio. I know that is quite... Uh, let's do, Hold on. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Oh, it's getting very frustrating at the moment, trying to make the readings slightly uh, longer if I'm not picking up too much signs of fuck all, really, because there's no, like I said, there's no argument as such. There's just ego-driven stuff. It's not It's not really resorting to much. It's, it's Unless it's a holiday resort, <laughs> like, and you get on holiday and it's boring as fuck and it's just a holiday resort, <laughs> right? And the kids start saying, where's the fairground rides? And you're like, it's a holiday resort. We can't go out. You know, we're on an all-exclusive, all-you-can-eat, so we don't need to go out. You're like, but yeah, but I want to go around, like, I want to look around somewhere. You're like, well, I don't, you know, we're just going to sit on the beach. You're like, well, fuck, the beach is boring. You, know, you just get suntan. Like, I want to go out and explore. I want to get going. I want to get moving. I want to go out somewhere. I want to do something. You know, do you? And you're like, well, no, we want to hang around the beach. And you're like, well, that's boring. <laughs> Right, I mean, I don't, I can't stand that. When I go on holiday, I am not let sit by the pool and the beach all day, every day. Fuck no. I'm more about, right, let's get fucking exploring this country that we're in. And let's get moving around and go to different places. I don't want to sit near the pool and the beach all day long. <laughs> Unless your name's Paul. Uh, let's see. Um, 
Scorpio. Any messages for Scorpio? Uh, I, I still feel the pain. So again, man, someone could be in pain. They could even be in Spain, or unless your name's Pam. <coughs> but I still feel the pain. Uh, any other messages for Scorpio? Uh, I feel the sexual tension. <laughs> so again, it's kind of like you're fighting against the tension of one another. You still got a, a, it's more of a metaphysical connection that's not really being spoke of. It's kind of like you still got it, okay? But it depends on how it's clarified. Uh, give me a card that represents Sagittarius here, please. Please give me a card that represents the Sagittarian energy here. Uh, I am not over you. So there is someone of Sagittarius, Taurus, Life Path 5, or any placement, or a person that's still not over. So regardless of who you look into, it's still not over. Like, I, I still don't want to split up. I don't want to break up. But again, we're not really talking at the moment. We're not really on the same par, unless you're playing golf. <laughs> right, par. And your name's Palmer. Palmer. Um... Show me the star, of what energy is coming from the star, please. Uh, I see life differently now. Again, it's kind of like you're coming out of this um, facade, okay? You're coming out of the energy of, like, light. Consuntite. <coughs> so I'm going to do this more regularly over on Patreon when we do the weeklies where I'm going to start clarifying the major arcana cards by different cards, okay? To give you more of a perspective of how a person is thinking and feeling. Um, but I'm just doing it just to give you a little example here. Um, but yeah, I'm not over you yet, okay? And then there's an energy of, I see life differently now, and I am still looking forward to the future. It's just like you're coming out of this retrograde moment to try and make the energy what it was before. It's kind of like... The distance is kind of, the energy can get very stagnant when you're in metaphysical stuff. Okay, it's just kind of like time slows down, retrograde, the foot, the eclipse of Scorpio. I'm feeling the pressure, I'm feeling the pinch. We're not really been speaking, we're not really been communicating. I'm not over you, this is not finished yet, but I start to see things a little bit more differently now. I'm starting to see it from your point of view, you know, here. Yeah. So that's what I've got for you so far. This will be, like I said, you will get these on major arcana cards before I clarify them, but that will only be on the weeklies, okay? <clears throat> so if you want to stay around just very quickly while I explain this to everybody yet again in every video, this goes to everywhere pretty much on Patreon. The first tier is like 3 or $4 for the month, and you get two monthlies within the month, okay, only. But that's a full spread clarified and tell you the outcome. If you would like the weeklies on top of that, okay, you will need the full access bundle. But because majority, not all, but majority are only done for Patreon members, meaning that's everything. It doesn't appear over on YouTube. You'll have to, because I give exclusive readings to a lot of people that are on the full access bundle. So if you want those weeklies and the outcomes and the thoughts and the feelings and the emotions and everything that's going on very present at the time when I'm doing them, they are all done and churned out for my Patreon members that are on the full access bundle, so you won't have access to the majority of them on here, even the beginning. Okay, some of them, one of them is, but um, and that will be the, that's that energy, uh, <laughs> Patreon tier, and then the teaching tier that I also offer. Uh, that's a separate tier. So, if you want the full access bundle and learn all of my spiritual knowledge about literally everything ongoing for years where it will be amounted to loads of different stories learning how to read tarot cards learning how to channel learning loads of different stuff about dark energy light energy thought process god knows how much okay there's a load over there at the minute if you go up from the full access bundle to the actual teaching tier that will just cost you the small amount between the both okay so you get everything then. You get the teaching tier and the monthlies and weeklies. That's going up a tier and editing it from your um, membership tier. Okay, but if you start here on the teaching one and go down, they'll charge you both. Okay, because it can't reimburse you the time or the money from Patreon. But if you go up, they only charge you the small amount between. Okay, which is an extra six or seven dollars, I think it is, to have access to literally everything that I'm doing. Okay. 
So that's what I offer over on Patreon. You can find all links and videos that explain that anyway more in detail below um, if you are interested in supporting me. And uh, if not, I'll see you on your next reading, guys.